Hi everyone. I wanted to go through some of the old footage I have from old golf schools and try and pinpoint some of the really common bunker problems. There's really one or two that most people do wrong uh, in the bunker and I've tried to um, keep everyone's identity uh, a secret here because no one really wants to be um, shown in these videos. So um, this is a long time ago anyway, so you probably don't even recognize yourself if you are looking at this video. Um, so let's start off here with this lady. Now her setup looks okay. It looks like the weight may be favoring that back foot just a little bit. If anything in the bunker, you want to have your weight centered or maybe slightly favoring your front foot, if anything. Also, those hands could move a little bit forward so you've got a nice straight line. Now, what she's done here is she's gone back quite well, but there's not enough shoulder turn. So you really do need some good body movement and body turn and rotation in the bunker to give you enough power to get down through the heavy sand and give you some height on your shot. Speed is in golf equals height. So when you see those really great players play like pros and they hit the ball so high, that's because they've got good speed through the ball. And the same applies in the bunker. You need a bit of speed to lift the ball up and get that high, soft one. If you get too slow and soft, uh, through the shot, you just won't have enough power to smack through the sand because you've got to hit the sand and not the ball, as you probably all well know. You're not even hitting the ball in the bunker, so we've got to add extra power to power through that heavy sand and get the loft of the club to kick in and splash it up and out of the bunker and land softly. So what this lady here has done has, done has, has collapsed a little bit on the shot as well, so not enough extension through the shot i'll put my own swing video in here at this point and you can see the extension that i'm getting on the follow-through so important because when you collapse and that left elbow sort of bends in and everything gets a bit crunched up then you just don't get um, that good extension don't get that power if you're slowing down just after the shot you're probably like this you probably have started to slow down before you've made impact and as I said, you need speed. So you have to be a bit brave in the bunker. There's no kind of getting away from it. So not enough follow through there. Okay, so lady number two here. Now this lady looks like she's got a pretty good action going on here too. But again, it's not really enough turn going back. Now um, setup looks pretty good. I probably would move that ball position forward a little bit. So your ball position in the bunker is just left of centre so that the club can splash down in between your feet, right in the centre, and then the ball will be an inch or two forward of that so that the club hits the sand in the middle and then you've got a bit of room for movement or a bit of room for error between where the club splashes into the sand and the ball. So give yourself an inch or two between the middle of your feet and the ball position. So ball position, inch or two forward of centre or towards your front foot of centre. Otherwise, this setup looks really, really good. So you can see here, she's doing a lot right. That left arm's nice and straight. She's got some good wrist break, but that left shoulder hasn't really moved across under the chin. If I was to draw a circle around that left, the point of that left shoulder, it hasn't moved across quite enough. It's nearly there. I'd give her about a seven out of 10 for this uh, position here. She just needs a bit more shoulder turn. And she's going to have more power and you don't have to try it so hard to kind of create the power. You get like automatic power when you've used your shoulders. And you can see here, she's just got a little bit chicken wingy on that left uh, elbow um, as a result of not really trusting that she's going to lift it up. Sometimes we try and help it up by kind of scooping a little bit. Pretty good. I give her overall, I'll probably give her about an, an 8 out of 10. Okay, lady number three. All right, so... Setup looks okay. Ball position again a little bit back. Not sure why people like to have their ball back. The ball will come out low if it's back and high if it's forward. So in a bunker we want high, so we need to put it a little bit forward. Now again, another classic example of not enough turn. So you can see that this lady's hips are still facing us. There's no turn. The weight stayed on the front, which you don't want. Because a bunker shot is a fairly good length swing, like a three-quarter swing or maybe a bit more even sometimes, then you need to allow the weight to move back onto the back foot and then come down onto the front. So we want to turn that shoulder. You can see the shoulder hasn't really turned enough. Hence, the hips haven't then turned enough. So there's not going to be enough power 
uh, to get you right through. And then you can see here that the left elbow's collapsed, the right heel's still a bit flat on the ground, um, and we've, we've kind of got that lack of extension again um, through the shot, which is where you get the real consistent strikes. If you can keep the left arm straight and a nice straight line down the left arm and the club through impact, which comes from good shoulder turn, then you're going to have the club coming into the sand at exactly the same place every time, which is where your consistency will come from. And you can see she's got a good follow through, but she's kind of collapsed to get there, which is not what we want, even though it's a good high follow through. Okay, next lady. There you can see here, setup is good. Um, a nice centered weight. I wouldn't mind seeing those hands push slightly towards the target. So we've got that nice straight line down the left arm and the club to start us off with. So it's good to start off as you mean to go on. When those hands are back, it almost feels as if you're ready to start scooping the ball up. Now here's a better shoulder turn. Um, left shoulder is definitely more across, although this side is lifted a little bit uh, rather than turn. Do you want to be careful lifting instead of turning because then if you've lifted up off the ball, you've got to then come back down and then that's where your inconsistency comes in. But she's coming through well, um, better impact position than the previous ladies because her arms are much straighter, which is really good. But she's not turning her body all that well through the shot. Back foot's still a bit flat on the ground. Be really good to see the body turning through now. Um, and that will enable her to extend. You can see here she hasn't extended that left elbow. She's collapsed up. And that's just because the body's not turned through. So it's almost impossible to get into a good extended position if your body's not turning through. Okay, and then our final lady here. Uh, you can see that she's not finishing off the shot, not extending through, kind of slowing down and quitting on it like we're saying. So set up position again, hand a little bit back. We would like to push those hands, lean them a little bit towards the target so we get a nice straight line between or down the left arm and down the club here to start off with. Otherwise the setup's okay. And then again, another lack of shoulder turn here. Really just kind of pick the arms up instead of twisting the top half back. She's turned her hips okay, but not enough shoulder turn. And then, of course, there's not enough power. And without the shoulder turn back, it's very hard to turn through. And, of course, then that left elbow collapses through impact and we don't get the extension we need. And, of course, here's her follow through here with the back foot flat on the ground and that very abbreviated finish position. So the hands are just in front of the body rather than up nice and high, which is an indication of a good extended follow through. Okay, so I think... You can see that the most common couple of issues are not turning your shoulders enough going back. So you want a pretty full shoulder turn going back to give you the power to get through the shot and also get that great extension where that leading arm stays nice and uh, straight through impact and beyond. You get that really good positive follow through. So those are your two main keys. Get out and do some practice. Be a little bit brave with it because that's really the most important thing is to Take your heart in your hands and be brave with your bunker shots. Do some practice first so that you can feel confident and um, you know maintain the practice as well. Obviously, that's really important with your golf. And uh, good luck with your bunker shot. Good evening. Good evening.